it is our ethical duty as gamers to address the elephant in the room here. Because I don't know how many of you would be aware, but there's recently been this big scandal on YouTube. Oh my god, I go and check these two scumbags, Lady Decade, Lady Defecate, and a freaking Top Cuck Gaming Man. These two pieces of garbage in the goddamn YouTube community going around grifting, grifting and e-begging and asking people to freaking pay money to their stupid Patreon with their garbage content. I literally click on Lady Decade's channel. At the time of this recording, the first video uploaded two hours ago, the illegal Sony Pizza Station 5 console. And there's a big friggin' illegal right on the goddamn thumbnail. I've had it. I've had it with these two pieces of garbage and their dumb clickbait and their stupid garbage content, okay? They barely show up in the goddamn videos. You got Lady Decade showing up in her stupid videos, waving to the screen, begging you to freaking join their Patreon, and then that's it. The rest of the video is freaking edited footage of B-rolls of freaking the game playing. They freaking send over their stupid- Anyway, the reason why I'm here today is to talk about my Patreon again. It's illegal to beg in England because it's scummy. Scalping bastard. Yeah. Donate to me on Patreon. <laughs> recordings to their goddamn editor and that person just uploads it up the friggin yang yang and they do all the editing and this piece of trash sits there freaking with a stupid disgusting bright red lipstick and her dirty little feet yeah then you got freaking lady decades feet wiki a literally a feet wiki of freaking lady decade it's like freaking only fans for her stupid feet i don't want to see or smell some disgusting fat feet of freaking lady decade after she's getting her back blown on at liverpool versus manchester pub after a freaking dirty socks i've had it and then we go on into a friggin top hat gaming man let's see what friggin video this guy's got yeah of course double dragon revive street fighter it's over shut up you're not a street fighter you never made a top eight a top 16 a top 64 you never even entered a tournament for friggin street fighter why the hell are you making so many videos about street fighter and fighting i've actually got all of these really really bad things going on in the background and i'm here for purely negative reasons to suck the life out of retro gaming game you're not a gamer you're some cock that freaking walks around in your stupid speedos waiting for other men to grope you sweaty and then take you out back to the goddamn rafters behind the freaking monsoon big screen and sit there and get your back blown out by other men this is i had it that's pathetic. And then, and then we have the nerve, the nerve of Lady Decade to make a video sitting, sitting down, crying her eyes out because she's getting sued for 500 pounds because these pieces of trash, aka their editor, used a picture from somebody and didn't give them credit. And then that person contacts Lady Cuck and freaking Top Cuck. They contact and say, hey, you got to give us 500 pounds. You used our picture. And what does Lady Decade do? Instead of owning up with all that goddamn AdSense money that you collected, you stupid stupid prick instead of doing that and paying off the 500 pounds then you freaking make a video sitting there crying saying oh, I 500 pounds which i know probably doesn't sound like a lot of money to sorry i don't have that money i can't afford 500 pounds i'm crying i'm very bad financial status uh, meanwhile you're sitting in front of full library of video games complete in box some of them friggin' sealed, some of them friggin' rare. You're sitting, how about going to your friggin' cucked husband, top hat gaming man, and go to his stupid video where he's friggin' bra bragging at the fact that he's got a complete in box Mega Man X PAL version for a thousand pounds. Sell that piece of trash, take that money and give that money to that prick over there who's asking for 500 pounds, and stop asking people to friggin' b join your dumb little Patreon. You had the nerve in that video where you're crying to show a picture of your kids with a pacifier in their mouth. They're literally babies, and you're showing them saying, see, I have to support these kids. And at the end of their video, you're crying and you're saying please like i'm actually the big bad here i am this sinister person who's here to trick you all into watching my content please join my patreon to support i'm sick of it all right go pay the money like you're supposed to like real freaking humans out there that work a job you don't work a job top cut gaming man you don't that's why you made a freaking fake story telling people that oh you lost your job and this and that and then what was at the end of the video join my patreon to support me losing a job no top cuck go out there put on your goddamn freaking work clothes get your stupid little 
little resume going, all right? And go and freaking apply for a job and get a goddamn job, just like every other goddamn citizen citizen on planet Earth, all right? And while when you're at it, before you get the job and go to the resume, you might want to go to the dentist to fix your crooked, jaggedy, disgusting, yellow stain with black cavities all over these teeth that you have, Top Hat Gaming Man. From one angle, it looks like Stonehenge in your mouth, and from another angle, your teeth look like a burnt down fence. Which one is it, you stupid prick? I've had it. And then he has a. I must be so fake, so fake, that I must be a paid actress. The shittiest actress on the planet. How much do you think they're paying for me for this? Like, honestly. Nerve. Top Hat Gaming Hat Man has the nerve to make a video saying, oh, once I reach a thousand subscribers, a uh, hundred thousand subscribers, I'm gonna ax my Patreon. I don't need it anymore. And then he's trying to justify in the video, see? Like, why would it, it's just, uh, it's not as disingenuous to have a Patreon after a hundred thousand subscribers. Why do I need it? Why? Guess what? He still has his Patreon. Guess what? He's over a hundred thousand freaking subscribers. Is any of those fans gonna freaking go up to that piece of trash and tell them, hey, why don't you uh, ask your Patreon? No, you're not. Because even the fans that watch you too, the Lady Decade and freaking Top Hat, you're a bunch of cucks as well. And then Top Hat Gaming Man ma uh, makes a video, oh yo, I'm gonna go on vacation and I'm gonna go to Australia for two months. I'm gonna go to this country, Italy for three months. I'm gonna go to friggin' UK for this one. Shut up. You're sitting there crying about you can't afford anything, a sob story that you lost your job and all this crap Patreon. And on the other hand, you're making a video. And um, now they're getting some negative press off the entire thing. Bastards. Bragging at the fact that you're gonna go to countries for long periods of time on your stupid little friggin' vacation. That's what it takes, huh? That's what it friggin' takes. And I found out that friggin' Lady Decade has a friggin' uh this little Patreon something in her Patreon tiers or whatever. One of them is literally there saying, hey, if you pay me $20 a month, you can have a voice chat with friggin' Lady Defecate. Why the hell would I wanna have a voice chat with Lady Defecate defecating in a porcelain bowl for $20 a month? There is nothing Nothing cool about talking to some British prick with a British accent sitting there th well, talking all condescending thinking they're better than the rest of the world because of their stupid British accent I've had it all right nothing cool about that you don't want to be friends with Lady Decade you don't want to be cool with Lady Decade all right she's sitting there with her ugly fat self with her disgusting smelly t uh, freaking feet sitting there and we all know that all their videos are stolen scripts we know that first of all they read off a script they do nothing they read Sorry, a uh, terrifying scary letter and uh, uh, no, blinding you with science and you're reading it like, oh, <laughs> I don't. Read off a script, record it and send it to their editor. Literally there's a story I saw in the comments of these pieces of trash, Lady Decade, they were freaking talking about some rare console, illegal console, and then after that, you freaking take the first two sentences of what came out of her hot breath mouth, Lady Decade, you plug it into Google, and if word for word, those two sentences were the exact same as a goddamn Wikipedia page for the stupid freaking rare console, no work, no effort. It's just lazy garbage content that these people just completely continue to spew out. They know that. They even have Top Hat Gaming Guy admitting to friggin' Lady Decade on a video that your content's lazy and you don't try and it's friggin' trash. And that's what they do. That's what their content is. They don't even do the friggin' work. You friggin' idiots. I've had it. They're grifters. They e-beg for their Patreon. They have the stupid sarcasm. They admit their trash content. They steal other people's content. Let's not forget about that right they don't do their own work steal other people fake street yes those dirty bloody youtubers people just like uh me Street Fighters, you literally have freaking Lady Decade's freaking uh, banner right here where she's sitting there with her feet up on the goddamn, smelly feet on the goddamn table, and she's freaking looking at the camera while trying to play freaking Super Mario Brothers, a freaking platform on the other side. How the hell are you gonna play Super Mario Brothers while freaking looking at the camera? Are you talking about a freaking blindfolded speed, speed run your prick? No, that's on freaking GDQ and all that stuff. I had it, but you, you bore your consoles. There's a story out there with Lady Decade boring her consoles that she finds from her friend, and then after she's done her stupid little freaking camera shot, which takes five seconds and she puts it in a video, she brings the freaking console back to her freaking sack of crap friend there who's letting them bury the goddamn consoles. This is what we got to. This is what YouTube has gotten to. No, uh, no, like, once they reach that 100K subscriber, once they freaking get the freaking, uh, uh, the trustworthiness of their freaking fans, then they freaking shaft you right in the back, they shove it right you in the 
the back. They don't care about you anymore. They try to take as much money as you can with your stupid Patreon tears and freaking top hat. I've had it. It's just too much. Shut up. So many idiots out there willing to pay such large amounts of money. I'm some kind of fake gamer girl.